Dow Jones traded extremely bullish last week and has come towards the next resistance zone at 34,000, 34,200 levels. Now, can we expect US 30 to break on the upside? Can we expect it to move towards 35,000 levels in the coming weeks? Not only next week, but for the month of November, we are going to see with the help of charts first, followed with indicators and towards the end, I will give you the trading levels and strategy for the coming month and the do watch till the end and if you are not subscribed to the channel subscribe to the channel and stay tuned with the twice a day updates which i share for dow jones and other global markets first with the asia and europe session and next with the us session these two updates definitely adds meaning to your trading decisions let's start first let's have a look at the four hour charts on the four hour charts you can find 34,000 was the greater resistance and now 34,200 this complete zone between 34,000 and 34,200 levels is a greater resistance we have seen it breaking below these levels thrice in the recent times can we expect it to move past 34 to 200 yes if it stays above 34 200 the next milestone is directly towards 34 600 800 zone which has proven out to be a greater support earlier may be a greater resistance now this is just on the four hour charts yes we have seen a v-shaped recovery and if it yields a symmetrical formation it can try to retest here and then reverse that is one probability one can look forward to chances appear to be less looking at the momentum which it has shown coming to the day looking at daily charts yes the v-shaped recovery is done from here the slight chances exist that it can try to retrace a little towards 33 500 700 zone breaking below which in fact one can look forward to uh, 33,000 levels and from there it can reverse that is one probability one can look forward to at best Yes, a slight retracement can be expected, but not a complete reversal as of now. And on the upside, we know that there is a greater resistance at around this zone between 500, 600. So yes, I will definitely watch out for how it behaves at around these levels. If US 30 achieves these levels, possibility of a slight retracement from those levels can be seen. Now, also, if you look at the daily charts, you will find, see, it is trading in this it traded in this bearish channel and almost has breached out this channel. This is a very bullish indication because see, this is a flag formation on the daily charts and now it is trying to rise. However, one must note that it has achieved lower lows before reversing here. Thus, I will definitely watch out for if it is really willing to break out on the upside or it is just a retracement. Coming to the now on the weekly charts, last week we saw that US 30 has been trading in this zone, in this bullish channel, despite a breakout. Yes, it is largely staying in this bullish channel where we have seen higher highs, higher lows. And yes, precisely from the bottom of this, it is trying to reverse and right now it is staying at the median of it. So that is why I say yes, there are going to be greater resistance at around 34, uh, 200 and then 34, 500, 600 zone. At those levels, you will see how it behaves. If it stays above, certainly one can say we are looking forward to 35,000, 35,500 levels as well. However, right now it is not pretty confident of it. That is what it appears for the next week. It has to stay above 35,200 levels first and then 35,500 for further bullishness to confirm. Beyond 35,500, 600, do not think of selling. 34,500, 600, do not think of selling US 30. We are looking forward to 35,000 levels directly. And this could be the reversal sign after weeks of bearishness. This was the first bullish candle and there could be a follow up bullish candle as well. Coming to the month. Now on the monthly charts, look, see previously three bearish candles here. Right now it is almost at the double top levels here. This also makes this zone as a critical zone because see from here, chances for it to reverse also exist strong because see flat bottom and a smaller tail on the downside. And if it reverses, it has to be a massive, massive bearish move here on the down. This is only possible because right now the economic ind uh, indicators, the macroeconomic news is very much in a favor of a rise here. But these are markets. Any negative event may reverse it completely. We have to watch out closely how it behaves specifically at 34,200 and then 34,500 levels. Yes, these levels are to be watched, possibly achieving those levels because we have seen it rushing towards month has just started in the three trading sessions we have seen almost achieving the highs here thus the reversal will also be equally strong be watchful here coming to the indicators if you look at the indicators moving averages are still staying parallel price is taking the support from the 20 period couple of breakouts here but it's still taking the support from it and rising that is what is happening again if you look at a stochastic this has dropped significantly here 
the MACD. Now look at MACD. This is crossed over on a sell side and it's still staying parallel on the monthly chart. This is important and this is almost at the bottom of it. I have mentioned several times. See, whenever it is, it has hit a bottom. It has almost bounced back. This time it crossed over on the buy side after a long bearish move, and then again after staying bearish, trying to cross it over on the upside. Yes, this could be the bottom from where the reversal can be expected. RSI trying to stay flat. Coming to the week, if you look at the weekly charts, yes, the candle preceding candle closed outside Bollinger Bands, which increased the chance of it to reverse. We discussed in our preceding analysis, and now it is closed. In fact, above the 2050 hundred weeks average. Also, we noted that yes, none of the moving averages had crossed over last week. It has converged and again is starting to diverge. So this can be a probable chance. There is a chance for it to rise further. There is a chance for it to give a greener candle further. I will be definitely watchful of couple of resistances on the upside. Yes, a massive bullish candle increases the chance of it to reverse as well. Stock ISTIC was at bottom on the weekly charts. Now trying to look upwards increases the chance for it to rise further. The MACD. Now look at MACD on the weekly charts. You will find. See, it is stayed bearish and it is now willing to converge. It was trading with divergence. Remember, it is not yet crossed over. It is just trying to converge. At best, one more greener candle can be seen, and from there, the retracement may start or reversal may start. Month has just started. This was the first week. Only three trading sessions are passed by. Now, next week also there could be slight bullishness, or I will wait for the MACD to cross over in order to confirm a complete reversal. RSI rising, coming to the. If you look at the daily charts, moving averages crossed over here, traded with divergence. Now all looking upwards, all have curved on the upside, suggesting that possibly we may see them to converge any point of time soon. Yes, these are the divergence. It has converged here. This are the divergence. It has converged here. This are the top of the channel. Also, it has breached out this channel, suggestive of bullishness. A stock has taken its back to overbought zone on the daily charts. Now look at MACD. See MACD. After forming the double bottom here, it has crossed over and now it is looking upwards. Only three candles away, it has the potential for it to continue with the rise from here. So I will definitely watch out for this week. Possibly bullishness can be seen, but we have to be cautious of the resistance levels on the upside. RSI is rising. That is also a good bullish sign here. Also, let's have a look at the four R. On the four-hour charts, the moving average is crossed over here, trading with divergence, thirty-three five hundred, thirty-three three hundred zone. The great, th rather I will say thirty-three six hundred, thirty-three three hundred zone is the greatest support zone. First support zone is seen here at thirty-three eight hundred levels, which is going to be a milestone for it to break below, below which you can say thirty-three six hundred is the first support levels and a very very strong support. If it stays below thirty-three six hundred, then further bearishness may prevail here. Right now, moving average is looking up first. Right now, also, if you look at too much of divergence of price from the moving average, it calls for it to retrace a little and wait for the moving average to climb up towards thirty-three eight hundred nine hundred zone. The stock has taken extremely overbought, MACD extremely divergent and bullish, is still looking upwards, and see it has exceeded the highs. See it has reached the extremely overbought levels. Thus, it calls for. Next few four-hour candles to retrace a little on the downside. RSI is extremely overbought. It also calls for it to cool down. Now we have seen the charts. We have seen the indicators. Time for me to define the trading levels and strategy such that you can trade profitably next week. And before I provide you the trading levels, if you want to learn this art batch, the 27th batch is going to start on 20th of November. Register yourself now itself. Reach out to me for more details. My Telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Also, you can register by visiting our platform forexfunda.com. All the re details related to the uh, course, related to the curriculum, and the timings are available there on the platform. Also, you can buy there. Let me take you to the tour of the place. Now, this is the platform forexfunda.com. Here, uh, at the top of the front page itself, you will find the details of the batch. You can just click on the tab, find the details here. The curriculum is mentioned. Everything is mentioned, and you can just Buy by paying here itself. Reserve your seats now itself. Yes, this platform has much more in offering. First is my webinar, which is starting. This is a series of webinar we are going to start every week. We are going to discuss just before the market opens on Monday. We are going to discuss what can be expected when the market opens. 
and also throughout the week which position we can take we will see for major markets and commodities also i will be taking your questions and doing the live analysis for you all so thus uh, register for the webinar do not miss this opportunity yes this platform also gives you much more yes live stories break out uh, breaking news are available here you will also get the economic calendar the charts you can search for your favorite instruments anything which is getting traded across the globe is available here live charts are available you can book a call for me with me for any consultation or guidance and yes there are communities for traders where you find the like minded traders where you can discuss and take a better decision now we have seen the charts you have seen the indicators time for me to define the trading levels and strategy so where to buy i will recommend you to buy here at 34120 wait for it to break beyond 34160 34200 and 34240 now as we discuss here as we saw this is going to be the very strong resistance zone first resistance zone is staying beyond which one can look forward for it to achieve 34350 34 500 levels now 34500 and 34600 these are the two major major resistances on the upside staying beyond which you can look forward to a major rise next milestone another 200 points towards 34800 and then 35000 levels yes if it breaks past this zone this is applicable for the complete month of november specifically if it stays above 34 500 600 zone just stay long in dow jones you are going to look at 35000 levels very very soon on the downside where to sell? i will recommend you to sell here it see 34 100 was a greater resistance we have seen uh, many a times now below 34050 you can sell here expect 30 33 950 and then 33880 if the price stays below this next target is 33800 now this is the first major milestone here in between this zone we have to be careful 80880 is the first support zone if the price stays below this more bearishness may prevail we can look forward to 33600 the next milestone 33500 the further one now this is the next support levels i do not see it breaking this week but yes for the month of november staying below 33500 just stay short we are looking at 33000 and below levels here be careful it can reverse though the chances appears to be less right now the outlook appears to be bullish thus we have to trade with caution for the coming week there could be slight retracement which can be expected but still do not treat this as completely bearish as long as 33500 is respected take your trades accordingly trade with a stop loss and a trading stop loss do like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship batch join my webinar series join my signals channel yes trading as per signals you can definitely benefit reach out to me for more details my telegram and email id is mentioned in the channel and video description also do like share subscribe and comment do press the bell icon or join my free telegram channel for live updates all the links are mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading week ahead thank you